Let me just set this up real quick. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on, y'all? About to get a little breakfast in. I got this unsweetened vanilla almond breeze almond milk. Put one and a half cups in here in my blender. About to put a whole banana in there. A few grapes, some dates for added sweetness. Uh, and I'm actually going to put the sauce away in there. And I'm pretty sure if y'all follow calisthenics, y'all know who Austin Dunham is. He has his own protein now, so I'm supporting him. Uh, I'll be putting these three items, sauce way, dates, grapes. <laughs> I said three items. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, guys. It's early in the morning. Five items into my shake. And then this seems all unorganized, but trust me. <laughs> then I have my oatmeal here, which is just this Quaker Oats. I'll be doing that and then I'll be adding in the mixed nuts to it and then these cherry craisins so let's go ahead and get into it and I'll also be putting a little bit of creatine into my smoothie as well okay guys so this is the final product got my oatmeal like I said the mixed nuts which I actually have almonds cashews pistachios uh, and I think one other nut that I'm not thinking of right now and then here's my shake it's looking good you can see some of the dates broken up in it it's going to be a good meal and also well i guess you could call this a smoothie shake whatever you want to call it but i put creatine in this because today is my off day so since this is my off day i still want to make sure i get my creatine intake so that's the reason for that so i'm about to go ahead and dive in what's going on y'all just pulled up the style con you know what i mean it's a lot more cars out here this time so there's a lot more people here but i'm still excited looking forward to it uh one of the biggest things i think i realized with this vlog or vlog series that i'm making is i tried to make it too structured at first i was like yeah i'm gonna have like eight videos and have like one each week the biggest thing i'm learning about vlogs is and correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but how i feel about vlogs is showing you different things that are happening in my life but at the same time making sure that it provides value i don't want to just show y'all a day where i'm just like sitting on a computer in my house doing work and even though i'm still eating stuff which you know is important for nutrition and lean bulking it just doesn't provide i wouldn't even say excitement but enough value to record uh, on certain days so that's why I'm combining my lean bulking series today with StyleCon because that's going to provide a lot more value and you're still going to see every meal that I eat and you know what I mean it's still going to provide value in both ways and the biggest thing about StyleCon is it actually truly allows me to exemplify what it means to be an elegant savage so y'all stay tuned it's going to be a great day what's going on y'all so you already see I ate most of this wrap right now but is this a chicken Southwest wrap? Pretty much, I th I'm thinking right now, like in terms of calories, I'm getting like no more than like 350, if that, and that's just because of the sauce. So definitely when lean bulking, you know what I mean? This is definitely putting me in a caloric deficit, which is not where I want to be. So after uh, most of the, <clears throat> excuse me, after most of the speakers are done, and we have that little intermission period at the end, I'm actually gonna go and get some more food because definitely got to up my calories a lot more if I want to stay consistent with this bowl but overall it's a decent you know decent wrap they got the food trucks outside so you know not bad but hey I get my calories up Y'all already know what I'm on. Y'all already know. I gotta get my calories in. No, actually, we went through Coffee Beans Bagel. What's going on, y'all? So, the first day of Influential Conference 2018 is in the books. And since I'm doing this vlog differently this year and making it a part of my Lean Bulking series, I'm actually going to combine both day one and day two of the conference. So, it should be pretty dope to meet a lot of new people this year and got to see some familiar faces. So, so far, it's going really well. Um, and I showed y'all each one of my meals. So, I was able to bump up my calories a lot with that uh, dinner that I had at Nomos Cantina. So, those three tacos definitely 
definitely push me back up but I probably will eat again when I get home possibly and if I do I'll record that or let y'all know what I eat tomorrow when I vlog but yeah it's going pretty good so far and the reason uh just to clarify earlier why I said my lunch was probably only 350 calories because the wrap was kind of like half a wrap so if you get a full wrap with sauce and all that generally you can get up to about like 600 calories and stuff like that if you got like a wrap from like quick trip or something but yeah so <laughs> don't want to make it too talkative but I hope y'all enjoying this vlog and yeah I'll see y'all tomorrow LGI Good morning, my fellow elegant savages. Right now, I'm eating breakfast. Uh, pretty much did the same thing I did yesterday. Made some oatmeal, added in my mixed nuts. As you can see, cashews, almonds, pecans, pistachios, hazelnuts. Really good. Then I have the sauce whey protein in here, raisins today instead of dates, and a whole banana. All right, y'all, day two, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Got my protein in this morning, feeling energized. Are y'all ready for today? Yes. Right <laughs> Yo. Southwest wrap, Southwest chicken wrap. This time I did no ranch because I didn't want to get too much, too much of anything that'd be fattening. Of course, the goal of lean bulking is to put on as much muscle mass as possible without adding all the additional fat. So you looking, man? You got anything to say for the vlog? How you enjoying that food, though? What you got, though? Fries, Chipotle Southwest fries, baby. Yeah, he going in. <laughs> He's about to do 20 one-arm push-ups. Let's get it. LGI. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Knocking them out. Eight, nine, yes, sir. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so, 18. Alright guys, so that's a wrap for day two of Menfluential. Got the sun in my face, so that's why I'm squinting, you know what I mean? But it was a really good experience. But one thing I want to touch on uh, as far as like, I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure that y'all not confused on how exactly you should be bulking. So earlier yesterday when I was eating my lunch, I was saying I have to up my calories. It's not just about calories, but in terms of my macro breakdown, I wanted to make sure I was getting more protein. So that's the biggest thing. And a lot of 
people get confused they think on rest days because i had two back-to-back -back rest days i'll be working out tomorrow on sunday they think when they have rest days that they shouldn't be consuming as many calories and that's only true if you're trying to lose weight if you're trying to gain weight you actually still want to make sure that you're in a caloric surplus but not only that you want to make sure that you're consuming a lot of protein even though you're not working out because protein is going to be the main thing that you need to recover so you have to consume a, a lot of protein regardless if it's a rest day or active day so i hope y'all enjoyed that nutritional fact I'm about to actually go out to eat at mary max and i'll show y'all my food there and uh yeah keep rocking with me chicken tikka roll again you know what i'm saying everybody else got fried chicken couldn't do it though it's against, it's against the trainer code to get fried chicken in public <laughs> this happened last year too like this happened last year and the crazy thing is is there's another train that's actually stopped on the other side of this one so even when it passed i had to jump over a train again but luckily it's not moving so as soon as this one moves, I'm gonna have to hop over a stall train, but hey. <laughs> What's up, my fellow elegant savages? It's the end of Influential Conference 2018. Your boy had a great time, made a lot of connections, and as you can see, or as you saw, ate pretty well as well. So uh, you can go out, you can eat and uh, enjoy yourself. You just have to understand your macro breakdown so you can understand how much protein you need, which is definitely a lot when you're trying to bulk and especially when you're working out a lot so you can recover. As we discussed earlier, you still need a lot of protein on your off days and then figure out what kind of macro split you're going to have between your carbs and your fat. So if you guys are enjoying this series, leave me a thumbs up. That would really help me out. Comment below. Comment what you want to see, what you want to see from me. Uh, if y'all want to see more weigh in stuff like that. You know what I mean? I probably won't weigh in every single day because adjustments don't happen that quick, especially uh, since I've already put on so much muscle as it is. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this series. And uh, yeah, only other thing I'm probably going to eat tonight because I have about 1,200 calories still left in my diet. So I do have some Panda Express downstairs. You know what I mean? Not the most conventional, but you know, I didn't have to pay for it. So <laughs> in this case, you know, I'm about to go in. But hope y'all enjoying the Lean Bulking series. And if you're a guy, definitely come out to the Influential Conference next year. Come by, shake my hand. I'll definitely be there next year as well. And yeah, y'all stay elegant, stay savage. I'll see y'all next time.